Welcome everyone to this episode of Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today we're going to take a look back at the sixth series of Sport Fishing on the Fly, which is the year we've just gone by, 26 shows. And, you know, we're really lucky to be able to produce a fly fishing show and get out and enjoy a lot of the locations that we go to, a lot of the people that we get to meet. But you know, fly fishing really is an individual sport because you get to go it and you're one with nature, one exactly, with the fish. Yeah. But what's important to you with fly fishing? Well, what's fly, so special? Fly fishing is, it is individual. You like to take some friends along too. You know, you get to enjoy it. Everybody's trying to catch some fish. And usually you get into who's going to get the biggest fish. Yeah, yeah. And we did get some big fish this year. Yeah, we did, didn't we? We did, did. We got to some places, got some huge fish. Well, we should go take a look at some of that yeah. footage. All right. Well, if you're going to be able to get them up, you're going to have to thin them. Yeah. We did. Look at how fat he is, too. I know oh, we be, always say that. Look at how. Oh. I'll get you back down here where you belong. Oh, yeah, look at that. Top lip, same as the left. Wow. How much does that guy weigh, you figure, at least? Oh, geez. He's easily seven pounds. Seven here. pounds, yeah. There we go. Oh. Look at that. Nice fish. Pretty colors here. I just love the colors of the fish here. The bigger heads, it seems like the heads are bigger than, than what the bodies are. Don't go away. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> is that a big fish? Yes. What a beauty. Fish. Look at how fat that fish is. That's Pretty a colors, toad too. and a dry fly. Yeah. It's again, yeah, just like that. It out. pops out. Oh, it's marvelous. Look at the colors. Nice look at the cuts. Look at the cuts on there. Just yeah. bright as can be. Bright orange. Look at that guy. That's a true, true football rainbow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at that, eh? Ever, eh? Oh. And they all got the cuts on them, eh? They got yeah, little cuts, a little yeah, hybrid. a little hybrid, hybrid in him there. Great fighting fish. Boy, what a great day of fishing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at that. And they're really fat fish. What a beautiful, healthy fishery this is. Yeah. In the bowl. Wow. Fish well, let's let them go. Prime huh? shape. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Look at how fat he is. Look at the back on him. <sighs> Well, you get him in the water, I know he's going to go right away. That's a nice rainbow, that one there. Oh, is that ever. I mean, that, could be a, a that could be about a 24-inch rainbow, I oh, think. Oh, for sure. Look at how thick he is, too. He's, he's weighing some pounds there. He's a hefty little, hefty little weight. Go. Look at how long that is. Oh, just a dandy. Well, we'll get him in the water. Real thick along the back, too. Really, really nice fish. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, <Whoa. laughs> look at that. <laughs> Oh, that's a 24, 25. But look at how fat. I mean, how much meat is on there? That's a six pound fish for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at the size of that. They are just so healthy here, oh, aren't they? Yeah. Oh. Look yeah. at the colors. They're just beautiful. Yeah, beautiful they are. Fish. Look at the length of that. There, that's yeah, 24 easy. A little purple oh. tinge to them. Yeah, it's a pretty nice fish. That one's a little colored up. The other one was pretty silver, so he sure it's gave fair. a good account of himself, though. Went for two wonderful jumps out there. And yeah. Some good runs. Incredible. Nice fish. Nice and thick. Get him revived. About 15 16. to 16, yeah. Good fish. Nice and solid. Beauty. Right on. All right, yeah, this could take a little bit of Did he ever? Yeah, he did. And he took, uh, what did he take? He took the, uh, the, the pads of Box Canyon special. Yeah, right there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's a beauty. Out there. Look at that. Oh. Oh. He's going to go as soon as I turn him over. Get him down here. Look at that fish. Wow. Oh. Oh, there. Oh. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's a 23 inch rainbow. Oh. That's just meaty, real heavy fish. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh, there we go. That's, uh, that's 25. That's over 24. Look at that. Look at the colors. That's a six pound fish, folks. Let's let him go. There you go, Mr. Steve. All right, well. That's Steve's name on the island here. Mr. Steve. Which is kind of neat, you know, the greetings here, it's, you don't say hola, you don't say hello, it's all right. All right. There you go, big fella. All right, Mr. Steve. Hey! <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. It has, and you know, we get to fish so many different locations and with so many different guides. Yeah, we have, haven't we? What yeah. do you think you should look for when you get a guide? Well, the thing that I like in a guide is the guide should be there as a coach. He should be there to assist you when you need it. 
You know, he's going to help you out where the hatch is going on, obviously. He's going to get you in the proper position for fishing. But he shouldn't really interrupt. He should be just helping you along, just like a coach does, aiding you along. What do you think? What do you like in a guide? Same thing, you know, a guide is there to be a coach. That's a great word, yeah. a coach, to be there to coach you. Don't get in your face all the time. Exactly. <laughs> be the coach that yeah. lays back and watches when you're maybe doing something wrong, pointing stuff out. Yeah. Like you say, matching the hatch, hopefully have a fly for you there. Right. You know, those types of things are really important. Yeah. Most importantly though, a guide's got to provide a good lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's always one of your favorites. A lunch is very important. And we had some really special lunches this year. Well, we did. Real yeah. nice locations, great setups, really nice. Yeah, it's nice to take a little bit of time out as long as there's not too much action going on in the river to have a good lunch. Exactly. You don't want to spend two, three hours at a lunch. You yeah. want it pretty quick and get it over with. Yeah, get it down. Yeah. yeah, you bet. You know, we got a lot of places that we fished at. We caught just a variety of types of fish this year. Oh, not just stuff. sizes, but different species as well. Whole variety. You know, the real special ones, the West Slope Cutthroat and the Blackfoot. And how about Whitetail Lake, where we got those big Gerard rainbows. Oh, use the big meat flies and get the big fish. Those are huge fish there. Big, big fish. How about the coho down at the coast of Tofino? Nice big salmon. Oh, they just scream. They're tough fighters. They're excellent fighting fish, and they jump too. We've got very some great powerful, jumps. very powerful fish. Yeah. Also in Tofino, we got those real weird looking fish. <laughs> we caught everything. We got the black rockfish. <laughs> the china rockfish. We caught the red snapper. Just a whole plethora of fish. It was amazing, yeah. And then we went down to the Madison and got that nice brown trout. Oh, the colors in the brown trout just are so special. And that big fish you caught at the end of the day was something else. It kind of made the day. It did. Then we headed to the South Fork, and we got the real different kind of cutthroat, the Snake River cuts. Yeah, they're different than the West Slope cutthroat. They still got the beautiful cuts underneath them, but probably not as good a fighter as the West Slope cutthroat, but every bit as much fun to come up and take that dry fly. Exactly. Remember when we headed back to Tofino and went after the Sea Run cuts? Yeah, a different kind of cutthroat for sure, but just so pretty, so much different in coloring than the other cutthroats that we're catching. And yours made the day, you got that nice big one. Our favorite fish, the bonefish. Pound for pound, the most powerful fish out there. So different than any of the fishing we get here in the Rocky Mountains, and man, do they ever scream line out forever. <laughs> it's fantastic. The Box Canyon of the Henry's Fork. Now that is a real tough rainbow. Yeah, the Henry's Fork rainbow trout, it's a zone species of rainbow trout, and yeah, they're tough to land. It's just and almost impossible to land. Really the nice ones. colors, really nice colors on them. They're special. How about Douglas Lake Ranch? We went after our one of our favorite kind of rainbows, the one we fished the most for, the camo's rainbow. Oh, the big air time. These things are always in the air. You think they're part bird almost. <laughs> <laughs> they're always jumping. And also another big aerial fish, the panas rainbow. We go to Summit Lake, our favorite place to go fish, full of panas rainbows. Same thing. They're closely related to the Kamloops, and they just like to jump all the time. Little missiles. Yeah, 